We're here after work on a Wednesday and dentistry never stops for us here. Um, three Shapes decided to pop in and uh, bring in the new Trios 4 for me to try. One of the cool features of the new Trios 4 is the tip. It's basically, as soon as you put the tip in, it's really warm and it's ready to go. So I haven't even put my gloves on and it's ready for me to scan, which is one of the beauty of these things. It seems to be a similar size to the previous one. Nice and ergonomic, pretty well balanced and um, yeah, and I really like the new tip. It's nice and firm. What we're looking for is here, it doesn't come out. And look, the battery life seems to be better. All right, just over a minute. So not too bad uh, for our first try. We've got a pretty good scan there. Got a couple of holes we can, uh, we can go through, but generally that's a, not a bad scan at all. Excellent. So now we're gonna go and try the fluorescence filter. Uh, the fluorescence A or Carries A and we're basically going to scan over the existing teeth and, uh, and we're basically going to see uh, whether Nanny has any carries or not. So we're just going to run it through here. So basically it's running a new UV light. You see how I roll over the label incisors, running through all the areas. So, if we have a look at this area, we may have actually found a little bit of some early decay or leakage of a restoration. You can just see on the lingual there of that 3.6. So we're going to try and take an HD photo of that where potentially there may be some problems. So you can see a large composite restoration with a stained fissure showing signs of early leakage. This is a really good diagnostic aid. Um, for the patients uh, or a patient communication you can show patients this uh, it seems like a really good tool. Three Shape, thank you for letting me test drive this new Trios 4 I'm really looking forward to having one in my own hands and, in, and applying it in my clinical practice